Welcome everybody, Brad3 here, guitar player for Hellheart. If you haven't heard of us, please check us out. We're on Spotify. We also have a channel here on YouTube. We just released a vlog this week of our show in Fresno, California. So please check that out on our YouTube channel. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the show. So today we're gonna to be talking about how I get ready for a live show. This is just my way of preparing for a show. So don't think this is the only way, this is just how I do it. I'm gonna break this down in two different ways, preparing your equipment for a live show and then preparing yourself and your playing for the live show. Before we get into any of that though, let's talk real quick about why would you wanna prepare at all? Promoters, booking agents, even people that manage bands could be attending that show and would be willing to provide you opportunities if they're impressed. Some of the other reasons why it's a good idea to get prepared for a show, it makes for a less stressful night for everybody. If you're not scrambling at the last minute to figure out how to hook up your rig or change your strings, or even remember the songs or the order of the songs, it's gonna make for a way less stressful night. When you're on stage, you want it to look easy so you can focus on stage presence, making connections with the audience. You don't wanna to have to be sitting there struggling to remember the song while you're on stage. That's what rehearsal is for, that's what preparation is for. When you're on stage, you should be focusing on performing and giving everybody a great show, not remembering the songs. It just makes your band look really professional when it looks like everyone knows what they're doing, they're comfortable on stage, and everything sounds great. And that all goes into preparation. So let's talk about preparing your equipment. Now this section is gonna be mostly for guitar players because that's what I am, that's my expertise, but this could really go for any instrument, but the details discussed here are mostly gonna be for guitar players. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure you have a fresh set of strings on your guitar. And the last thing you wanna do is be changing your strings on the day of or the night of, right before the show. You wanna try to change your strings at the very latest the night before. That way it'll allow your guitar to settle in for the neck to adjust, and then hopefully if everything else is working correctly, you won't have any tuning issues while you're at the show. Also, the day before or the night before is a good time to do any last minute adjustments. So if you are changing string gauges or tunings on a guitar, the night before is gonna be when you're gonna wanna do that because your guitar is gonna be shifting, the neck's gonna be moving, and you're gonna need that time to make those adjustments. A lot of times what I do is I make all my adjustments the night before, and then in the morning, the next day when I wake up, I double check everything to make sure that we're good to go. You just wanna make sure that you give your guitar plenty of time to settle in. The other thing I really wanna mention about guitars is always make sure that you have a backup guitar ready with you at the venue. You want this guitar to be somewhere close in case you break a string or something goes wrong, you don't have to run across the venue to get your guitar. Now I'm speaking from experience in this situation because I always carry a backup, but I don't always keep it near me. Specifically, one show that I did not keep it near me, I broke a string during the middle of a guitar solo and I had to run all the way behind the drum riser the other side of the stage to grab my backup. It was one of the worst feelings I've ever had and trust me, it's changed how I think about having a backup. You always carry a backup in case anything goes wrong, but it almost never does but I guarantee you the one time you're not prepared is the time when it's gonna happen. Also just check your guitar cables to make sure that they're working properly. I myself usually use a wireless system so I don't usually have to check a whole lot of cables, but if you are using cables, make sure you're checking out the cables that you're gonna use live. A bad cable can really ruin your night, trust me. And then lastly, you're gonna wanna check your amplifier. Turn that thing on and make sure all the channels work, all the knobs work. Also check out your pedal board. This can be a real problem. I've seen a lot of guitar players on stage um, have technical difficulties because the patch cable isn't plugged in all the way or even worse, a patch cable has gone bad. Just make sure everything is nice and organized so that it's easier for when you go to set up on stage. If you guys want more details on setting up equipment before a live show, let me know and I can make a separate video on that. But in general, I think those are some good tips that'll help you get started. Let's move on to preparing yourself and your playing for the gig. So one of the first things you're gonna wanna do is make sure you're familiar with the songs you're gonna play that night. And you also wanna make sure you know what order the songs are in. You don't wanna be figuring all that stuff out last minute the day of the show. And you wanna make sure you have a set list handy on stage. Go ahead and print something out with your computer or just handwrite something. Every band member should have a set list 
near wherever they're standing on stage so they can remember what songs were playing and in what order. It's always awkward when there's a bunch of silence on stage because the musicians are talking to each other about what song is next. Do yourselves a favor, write it down, have it ready to go, and that way everyone knows what song is coming next. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is on your own, definitely practice problem areas of songs or maybe just problem songs in general. Is there a guitar solo that always gives you trouble live? Is there a transition that you never seem to get right and it's always sloppy? Don't practice the stuff you're already good at. Make sure you just focus on the areas where you have weaknesses. The important part about this is to just be honest with yourself about where your weaknesses are. And a lot of times it's really hard to tell at a band rehearsal. A lot of rehearsals rehearsal rooms are not properly sound treated so the sound is just bouncing all over the place and a lot of times it can be really hard to hear yourself or other members of the band so the only way to really tell that you're doing everything right is to play by yourself and make sure you're not making any mistakes and again like I said in the beginning when you're playing live, you want it to seem natural, you want it to seem easy. You don't wanna be playing a part that you can just barely play when you're practicing by yourself because when you're on stage, there's gonna be a lot of added nerves, there's gonna be a lot of distractions, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure you know that part like the back of your hand. One of the problems a lot of guitar players experience is it's kinda of loud to play guitar. When you're plugging into an amp, a lot of times it can be disturbing to other people, especially late at night. Obviously, if you can practice with the amp that you're gonna use live, it's gonna be a lot more accurate to how it's really gonna sound. For most of us though, that's not always the case. A lot of times our gear stays at wherever the rehearsal room is, and we don't always have access to it. So a lot of times we have to rely on other ways to practice, smaller amps that don't get as loud, that maybe have a headphone jack. Uh, me personally, I have a Kemper Profiler, and I've been using that to practice a lot because it has a headphone jack. And so I can just plug into my profiler, uh, listen to the same sound that I'm gonna be using live, and also just have a headphone jack and have my headphones on and nobody can hear me. Well, what if you wanna relax at night but you still wanna practice? Maybe you just wanna watch a movie or watch some TV and sit down with your guitar and jam a little bit. One thing I picked up that really helped me with this, and I'm so glad I bought it, is the iRig HD2. It's such a cool device because it allows you to plug your guitar directly into your phone. And then on your phone, you can use various different amp simulation softwares. There's a lot of different softwares and a lot of them are actually free. So this enables you to sit around your house pretty much wherever you want, connect your guitar to your phone and then use your earbuds and you can hear the sound and nobody else can hear you. Now I've heard of these devices for many years and I always just kind of thought it was too good to be true. Uh, there has to be too much latency or it probably just doesn't sound that good. But honestly, for what you're using it for, it sounds just fine. All you need is to hear your guitar at an amplified volume into your ears in order to really properly practice. The last thing you want to do is be sitting around with your electric guitar and not plugging it in. How boring is that? In my opinion, for the price, it's really worth it. You can spend about 100 bucks and basically be set up to practice in any room of your house at any time without disturbing anybody else. And honestly, it's really helped me to find more time to practice. Another tip is bring it to the show with you. You can sit there backstage or at your merch booth or whatever and plug into your phone and warm up. Which brings us to the last part of our preparation, which is warming up at the venue. And I'm not just talking about warming up your guitar playing skills, I'm talking about stretching. Make sure you get some good leg stretches in there. You stretch your arms out, your back. The last thing you want is to be having a great time on stage and then all of a sudden pull a muscle because you didn't warm up properly. When you're warming up your hands to play, you don't have to do anything crazy. Play a couple of the riffs that you're gonna be playing live that night. Just make sure that whatever you're practicing, it's helping you get acclimated to the instrument before you're about to go on stage. All right, so we talked about how to prepare our equipment and ourselves and our playing for a live show. Like I said before, these are just the tips that I use. There's no right way to get prepared, but if someone were to ask me what I think they should do or what I actually do, these are all the things that I would tell them. Do you have tips that you feel I left out? Do you have things you do to get prepared for a show that I didn't mention? Leave them in the comments below and let me know your best tips on how to prepare for a live show. Make sure to go follow me over on Instagram at Brad3 and you can also follow my band Hellheart at Hellheart Music. Thank you so much for watching.